guys, I just arrived in Clarksville, Tennessee, and we are in front of China King Buffet. So as you can tell, it is a Chinese buffet here in Tennessee, and we're going to go inside, check it out, and see how much food I can eat at this Chinese buffet. So let's go inside and get some food. All right, you guys, China King Buffet Sushi and Grill. Ooh, really pretty doors. I like that. It's got bamboo drawings and everything. As you go in, there is like a temple light. I love the decor. Oh my god, there's even koi fish in here. That's so cute. And in the middle, there is this temple light thing and all the food is over there. This is so pretty. Wow. I really, really like the interior and the food smells great. All right, you guys, so we just got sat down, got my two favorite drinks. Of course, whenever I go to a buffet, I always get Diet Coke. Cause I like, see, I like drinking soda because it, um, every time I burp, it gives me kind of like a second wind. So that's kind of like my trick of how to eat more at buffets. I know a lot of people say soda makes you like full, but I don't know. I guess I use soda so much now at uh, food challenges and stuff. It just helps me like drink more. <sighs> Man. Diet Coke be hitting different though. Let's go check out the food. All right, you guys, this is their uh, COVID friendly, it's still self serve. We got hand sanitizers and gloves. So we're gonna put this on and then let's check out the food. All right, guys, so it looks like they've got some, oh my goodness, they've got some chicken. That looks great. Wow, look at that. Then we're gonna get some of that. So much more items. That's pretty cool. Is that like a beef one? That looks good too. So this is their hot food section, a lot of classic Chinese food as well as some pizzas. And apparently there's apple pie here. But they got a lot of stuff. So desserts on this side. More hot foods on this side. Looks like there's generic like kind of like Chinese food. We've got uh, fried fish, we got chicken wings, we got some barbecue stick. Oh, and this is cream cheese ragoons, crab ragoons, and egg rolls and dumplings. And see how it pours. Some soup over here. Oh my god, those look like the names. That looks really good too. Fried chicken, love that. And this looks like, oh, they even got crawfish, some seafood. This is all like kind of like the hot items, like Chinese food, generic Chinese food items. That's pretty good though. They even got chow mein. I love chow mein. Oh my god. Hey guys, they have a huge selection to choose from. They also have like a sushi section. I'm gonna show you guys sushi and salad. There's a there's a sushi chef on duty making all these fresh rolls. And these are all the rolls you can pick from. That's pretty cool. A whole sushi section with a sushi chef. Hello! <laughs> He's so cute. And then we got a salad section, of course. Oh no, actually this is the grill section. So you pick out ingredients. And then you go to the grill and he'll make it at the tempa grill for you. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. Actually, I'm going to try this out. We're going to get, we're going to create a plate real quick together. All right, so it's kind of like a Mongolian grill kind of style. We're going to get some noodles. Ooh. And some healthy vegetables with it. I love zucchini, so I'm going to grab some of that. To my plate. And get some mushrooms. Right. I also love them onion. Oh, we have one yeah. Ooh, look at these baby corn. That's so cute. Some of that. All right. And then as for the meat, I'm going to add some shrimp on there and some beef. Cool. All right. And I guess I'll add an egg in there as well. Ooh. And then while he's making this plate, oh, that's him making some fresh plate right there. That's so cool. So we're just gonna wait for them. Oh, you can, you can do it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, so he just adds it on there. All 
All right, guys, so while the chef is making our noodles, we're going to get some of the actual hot food. This is the salad section over here. Um, but yeah, let's grab some hot food. All right, so I am actually a huge sucker for orange chicken, so we're gonna grab a few pieces of that. All right, and I love green beans. I'm gonna get some of that. There's a stir fried potato. Like black pepper chicken. Ooh, China chicken, General Shao's chicken. I love that too. All of the chicken. Pineapple chicken. Alright. Well, let's get some of those mushrooms on the other side. Here it is. I love mushrooms. Alright, got some Mongolian beef. That looks good. Alright. That's the healthy first plate. That looks good. Alright, we're back to the chef and he's done with it. Oh, that looks good. That's my own. Freshly grilled. That's super awesome. Hey guys, they have so much. They have so much items over here. I'm gonna try some fried gilgas, some egg rolls, some fried pork. I'm gonna try a little bit of everything, honestly. That looks good too. Oh my god. So much fried food. Look, this place is just all fried food. I'm gonna just try one of everything. And rangoons. Oh, and we have to get some of this. This teriyaki chicken barbecue. Ooh, that is a big piece. Okay. And then we got fried fish. <laughs> this is my fried plate plus the uh, barbecue chicken. So finally got sat down with all the different types of food. They have so many, many items here. Um, let's start with something light. So this is from the sushi section. So again, you guys saw that the sushi chef is there making uh, the sushi fresh and they have so many different kind of rolls. And um, you guys know I can't really eat raw fish. So we've got California rolls. Let's try this out. Mm. Mm. That's not bad. The avocado is actually super fresh. That one had cream cheese in it. Mm. And so, I actually love this thing called Inari, which is like tofu skin. So this sushi is wrapped in the tofu skin right here. This is sweet, so it's like a sweet sushi roll. And the tofu skin gives it a bit of a different texture. Mm. We also got like a deep fried roll. Ooh. Mm. I love tempura. That one's like super crunchy. And we got this one. It has like some extra sauce. Good. The sauce has a little bit of a spice to it, a little bit of kick. And this one, um, it's basically Korean sushi. This is the kimbap. So instead of like the usual seafood in there, they put extra veggies. And I believe it's like some kind of fish cake in there. Not bad. I would actually rate their um, sushi um, side. That was definitely like an 8 out of 10 for a sushi place, for a buffet. It's actually very good. The rice is very fresh and um, not bad. And this is, um, I can't wait to try this. So again, this is the plate from the uh, Tepan side. So you pick out the free, uh, fresh ingredients on your own. Let's try some of the shrimp and the beef. Let's try the protein. Mm. 
the shrimp actually picked up on a lot of the flavor. And then this beef is very thinly sliced. So uh, it's still very, it has a lot of moisture. Picked up a lot of the sauce. Mm, very good. And I usually don't see this. I love baby corn. That's so cute. Mm. Baby corn is like extra sweet and extra crunchy. Let's try some of the noodles. Mm. That's good. If you guys love garlic, it has like an extra garlic taste. I think you can see some of the uh, garlic pieces in there. That's the extra flavor. Mmm, oh, really good. And I love zucchini as a vegetable, so it's fun. You can pick it out. You can pick out your favorite vegetables and favorite toppings, customize your own plate. Mm. And I love the noodle texture as well. Another super cool thing is they also have dim sum here. Look how cute this is. This is a little peach. They have a little peach bun here. Inside is sweet red bean filling. It's one of my favorites. Like I grew up eating stuff like this. Oh my God, I just, <laughs> that's the red bean paste. So this is sweet with like a flour bun. Mm. And that bun is like so soft. It's just melting your mouth. Mm. Yeah, that's been one of my favorite snacks growing up. And then this is their other dim sum item. It looks like there's like a wonton wrapper and I'm not too sure what the filling is. It's some kind of meat. Kind of looks like pork. But looks very sauced up. Let me try it. Ooh. Ooh, that flavor. Very soy, it's very savory, and there's a lot of um, spices to it. Mm. Oh. Mm. I love dumplings because like the filling that it wrapped around the dumpling skin, the meat juice just like drips and soaks up in the uh, dumpling skin, and it's so juicy, and there's so much flavor that goes into that. Oh, that is good. Maybe I'll get some more of that. That was really good. All right, I got some broccoli salad. It's one of my favorite salads. Mm. Super duper creamy. Mm. All right. They got some ribs here too. They got some barbecue ribs. Look at this rib. Smells good. Mm. Pretty good. The meat is very tender and the saucy glaze is like honey. There's some black pepper on there as well. It's not too salty. It's more sweet than salty. Mm. Pretty good ribs. And the meat just falls off. Ooh, that's good. I actually get that rib like 9 out of 10. That was actually really good. Alright, so this is a very interesting item. This is their beef pie. So it looks like it's beef and then the outside is like a puffy pastry. Wow. Tastes like a beef pot pie, but just like in a sliced form. This meat is super tender, super soft. Mm. 
it's like pulled pork, but pulled beef. It tastes like pot roast. Pot roast inside flaky pastry. That's actually a very unique item. I don't see this very often at buffets. It's kind of crazy, like for a Chinese buffet, it has so much different, um, so much varieties. There's sushi, there's a tip on grill, there's this. This is not a Chinese item. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna eat it together with the cream on top. Oh, this one this one looks really good it's chicken but the, look at that glaze look at that beautiful sweet glaze oh my god all right here we go let's bite into this mm. That skin texture is perfect. That skin texture was crispy, it was sweet. Oh my God, and the chicken, it is so tender, it's so soft, literally just melted in my mouth. Like that bite just, look, look how easily it falls. I, I'm barely having any pores and it just like falls apart. Mm. Oh my God. This is 10 out of 10. It has so, it's so juicy and so tender. Well, that was my favorite item so far. I need to get more of that. Ooh. I do have another plate here though, so we're down two plates so far. I've lost the food. Oh man, that, that chicken was so good. Honestly, the moment I saw it, I was like, oh, that was, and I was right. I was right. In that case, judging a book by its cover was correct. Let's try some mushrooms. They're mushrooms. Mushrooms is one of my favorite vegetables. You always see me get mushroom as a topping on my pizza challenges because mushrooms. Mm. All right. A Mongolian beef. Mm. That's not tough at all. This is super tender beef. And it's flavored really well. It's sweet. You know what I would do actually? I would actually um, get this Mongolian beef. Like don't get any meat from here, but put the Mongolian beef on here because I'm eating this with this noodles. It tastes so good. I just put the whole thing in my mouth. I totally forgot to show you guys. I am a sucker for orange chicken. I know it's like the most generic Chinese food, but orange chicken is deep fried and it coated in a sweet sauce. Like there's nothing you can go wrong with it. It is so good. Oh. Mm. And it did a really good job. The chicken is not soggy. 
it still remains that crisp from the fry, but the soft glaze on it, oh, perfectly sweet. Good amount. It's a little bit of kick too. Yeah. And honestly, I love orange chicken. these plates got through four plates so far and then my last plate this was basically all the fry food and what's funny is on the side they actually have my favorite they got tartar sauce on the side isn't that dope they know they know i love my tartar sauce um, and then we're gonna go check out the desserts after this but first we try all this fried goodness so this is pretty cool. This is their uh, barbecue chicken stick. Mm. Wow, that chicken is marinated. There's actually a lot of flavor in there. It's not plain at all inside. Tastes like a yakitori, but like more crispy. It's just straight up like pure protein. If you guys just want a stick of protein, this is it. <laughs> it's just a stick of chicken. That's good. All right. Are you like fried fish? Mm, not bad. Spring rolls. I love spring rolls. That's the filling on the inside. It's basically carrots and cabbage. There's some hot stickers. Pork and veggie filling. And I think this was a chicken roll. It's a, it's a lot bigger than the uh, spring roll. 
Yeah. Mm. So the inside is uh, ground chicken, pork, and cabbage. Mm. I actually like this a lot. It's like fried pork. Mm. Well, I really like the batter. Oh, it's more like a chicken finger. Yeah, the batter is actually really spongy. It's kind of like a chicken donut. It's such a fluffy batter. Very interesting. We got crab rangoons. Filling. This is super crispy. I like it. Fried chicken. Well seasoned on the inside. Super crispy. Do you hear this? Mm. I want that orange chicken sauce. That orange chicken sauce is good. Oh yeah. Whatever that sauce is. We'll go get another dessert plate, but there was a fried dessert with everything, so let's try this. It looks like a beignet to me. Yeah. Fried dough with sugar on the side. It's basically like a mini donut. Very good. pretty much it on my five plates and then um we're gonna go with some more desserts and then uh, i think that's good i mean like this place has so many different items and they feature also like a to-go menu which is pretty cool so much selection you can just like buy for by the pound you can't like make up your mind you can just get a variety of stuff and get all this stuff to go so that's pretty cool we'll get some to go and i'll show you guys how it works but let's get more sweets first This is my dessert plate. We got more of these like sugar donut stuff because these are really good. There's some um, pudding on this side with some ice cream. Oh, look at this pudding. Mm. Oh, that's so good. These are freshly hot. I'm dipping it in pudding. It's like cream filled donuts now. It kind of reminds me of Malasadas. Ooh. Oh, that's right, heaven. Fried dough, man. You can't go wrong with fried dough. It's so good. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's really good. And this is some of their pudding mixed in with ice cream. Mmm. Right. Looks like I got a coffee cake over here. I'll just put it in my mouth. Mm. 
Oh. And that's just completely melted. Woo! That was really good. Mm. I'm sorry, we got some cheesecake. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Wow, cheesecake is super creamy. Here we have like a flaky dessert. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, that's white chocolate on top. That's really good. I, I killed a plate of desserts so fast so I thought this was the most interesting thing ever this is a like dumpling skin but there's like a custard on the inside and I love custard let's break it apart this looks like a egg, ooh, baked egg tart that inside is a goodness That's really good. It almost tastes like a uh, cheesecake, but more eggy. Mm. I never had egg custard with like a uh, very crispy shell before. It really just gives it a really interesting texture. Well, but. This is my damage done at the buffet. And what we're gonna do now is, um, be, they actually have this amazing deal on buffet to go. So during lunch, you can actually get a pound of food from here for only like $5.29 per pound. And look at, there's so much variety you can choose from. You can literally choose anything. A pound and it's only five bucks. Like that's pretty crazy. And dinner, $5.99, same, basically same thing. So we're gonna go pack some food to go especially those ribs and that chicken that chicken that chicken one that i was like oh my god that teriyaki chicken so let's go check out the buffet line once again and get some food to share with my fam all right guys so here's my to go box and this is the chicken i was talking about dude this was so good I'm definitely taking this to share with the fam but you can fill this box with basically anything you want so i'm going to definitely load up on this chicken oh god that chicken was so good Okay, and then, oh, I didn't even try this one. Look at that. That's so cool. Put that one down in there. Like a shrimp scallop thingy. Oh, I gotta get more of those fish too. Hold up. Try that. Definitely gonna pack some of these ribs to go. So yeah, you can get seafood, you can get ribs, you can get meat, anything you want on this to-go box. And it's just like that. Okay. And then what did I like from here? Oh, that teriyaki, this meat stick was really good too. One of that in there. I'm just filling this with meat. Look at that, that's meat heaven. Get some chicken wings. that in there that this chicken is so good i can't believe it still remains crispy after being laying down here for so long so that's gonna be my first box it is literally just me Woo! that is a beautiful box all right guys and with the other to-go box i'm gonna get some noodles to go so we're gonna make the whole noodles again noodles some healthy vegetables zucchini. Mushrooms. Fish sprouts are great. I really like the corn. That's 
have some shrimp. So with the beef, like I said earlier, I'm gonna look at the Mongolian beef instead. I'm gonna hand it to the chef. Thank you. So remember I said they add garlic and stuff? Yeah, there it is. That's the garlic and spicy sauce they add on there. That's oh, looking good. Add some soy sauce. It's pretty cool. They make that in front of you. You do it, they got a scale over here, and then it's around two and a half pounds, so $5.99 per pound, and 15 bucks for that, too. That's actually a lot of food, that's actually a really good price. Wow, so that's pretty awesome. That's how their to go box works, and uh, yeah, have food for the fam. Yay! So, that lots of meat in that one, so lots of bones. All right, guys, before I head out here, I want to give a shout out to Joey and Kimberly for coming out to meet me and um, basically watch me eat at the buffet. <laughs> Good job. Oh, all right, you guys. That was a super awesome. Oh, God, I'm so full. That was a super awesome experience. Um, China King Buffet. That was actually delicious, delicious flavors. And the interior was beautiful. There's a koi pot in there. It's amazing. So great place to eat and splurge buffet. And if you're hungry, again, the to go is very, very affordable. Uh, $5.29 per pound for lunch and $5.99 per pound for dinner. So I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, if you guys are in Clarksville, Tennessee, give them uh, a try and let the noise send you. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, liked my food journey. And if you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.